loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive reader. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. We want to do a full energy check-in using the astrology chart and then also using the tarot. And in this case, I have my astrology chart pulled up on the left. I'm also referencing my ebook guide that I wrote for 2021, the full complete astrology and intuitive breakdown for the week of 2021. So if you have that, go ahead and feel free to follow along with me there because there is a beautiful message written for this week and we'll talk about it. Of course, we'll talk about what is what I'm seeing um, occurring in the charts and also what's showing up within the cards. Um, but if you want to follow along or if you want to see how the rest of 2021 is going to play out for you, I highly, highly recommend you download that ebook if you haven't already and that you reference it if you have been neglecting your own spiritual practice or astrological planning of your details. First things first, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. Wow. Okay. Star card keeps showing up as well as the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I've been shuffling and cutting this deck for a minute before I went live to come talk to you guys or before I started recording to come talk to you guys. And it is really bringing me to pay attention to the earth energies that are occurring within the chart and also higher vibrational energies. At the time of me filming this, Mercury is about to go direct. And we're gonna I want to talk to you guys about that as well because this Mercury retrograde phase was really designed to bring in a lot of epiphanies and a lot of revelations. And with the star card here and with the ace of cups, and who knows what else is gonna jump out of the tarot and what spirit is going to um, talk to us or wants to reference in this week ahead. There have been this Mercury retrograde has really been set up has set us all up for failure for success does that make any sense that means that there are major major moments and revelations and messages and information of truth that we had to halt everything or one major thing in our life that is important to us and valuable to us so that we can take the time out to focus prioritize on focusing on this aspect within our life that is getting completely destroyed I have to say that or dismantled is the word that is I'm saying or the word that is coming through I'm kind of seeing like an unpacking it kind of reminds me of a person who has this house this old antiquated house and all these beautiful memories and all of these things that have happened within the home and then there was a loss a great loss and I'm seeing someone standing at the fireplace and the final stage or the the, the stage within their life that it kind of or the stage within this moment that is impacting them and hits them the hardest is not packing up the bathroom or packing up the bedroom because I'm almost seeing that they would have had help with that or distractions. So this is a metaphor, you guys. Spirit speaks to me through images and metaphors and, and you know, that's how my messages come through. But I'm seeing that they would have had help in those areas of their lives. But it's this one moment when it's quiet, when it's still, and when they're not handicapped by their distractions meaning like they're not um the distractions of friends and family which are all things that are welcomed and all things that they want is it it disappeared so now they're kind of packing up the easier part of the house or the very last part of the house and there's these photos um that are sitting on the fireplace and when they are taking these down they kind of are reliving these moments and reliving what how much time has passed, you know? How much time and how things are so different. And you're reminded through this vision, through this metaphor of the passing of time. And you're called to remember that everything is temporary and that is going to be constant. And if we, it, I just heard the law of impermeance, nothing really lasts forever and outside of energy and love. and. This is what makes life such a blessing and this is what spirit this is why spirit designed it for us because it's we have these moments that we're allowed to experience and our greatest our greatest successes, our greatest triumphs, our greatest moments that we are gonna be the most proud of and that we are going to look back on, on are the times where we were challenged the most, where we 
really opened ourselves to fully embrace that moment, that experience, this life. And I'm getting called back into the future that says, you know, we're just kind of blasting into the future really quickly that says, you know, in the future, looking back, you're going to look at these moments. Ace of Cups is here too, you guys. Um, you're going to look at these moments and you're going to see what was really worth it and what was really valuable. And it's not going to be so much, the value is not going to be so much in how much time you had in this space with this person doing this thing. It's going to be the quality of that time, no matter how short lived or how long lived. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so that's why I believe the Ace of Cups is here. And this is what this Mercury retrograde phase and stage is really truly all about. That's what Spirit is showing me. And I'm hearing um, height, heighten your focus. Wow, what does that mean? It means shift your perspective. It means shift your perspective. I mean, we've been saying this. This is Jupiter retrograde in the sign of uh, Pisces right now. She, he hasn't com completely exited out, but he's about to exit out of the sign of Pisces. I'm getting the sense that it was too much of a good time. Like it was fun while it lasted, but, and it was fun while it lasted. Like it was great while it lasted, but at the same time, it's it's a lot, it's too much. And this is, a, this is not meant to hurt you. Look, death card in reverse. This is not meant to hurt you or mess you up in any way, shape, or form. It's it literally everything serves its purpose and everything works in a season and everything goes in a cycle. So when Jupiter moved into the sign of Pisces, you start either downloading a lot of information, you start the vibes start changing to a higher, a higher, a higher phase, a higher frequency. New friends start coming in, new relationships, you know, dynamics start to shift. Your work and your priorities and your purpose starts to heighten in a, in a totally different way or maybe you're out having a good time just kind of losing yourself and escaping from reality by drinking or drugs or partying or travel or swimming like it's it's not bad there's no judgment here that I'm getting from spirit it's just a truth it's just it's just a truth and it's an honor I just I, like it's an honor to be able to share this with you guys like it's an honor to be able to see what it is that you're experiencing be so interconnected in your intimate life and to be able to listen to spirit talk to you through me right now it's it's an honor but there's no judgment here there's no judgment at all but now that jupiter is retrograde and moving back out of the sign of pisces it's he's he's withdrawing he's pulling back he's had a taste and will maybe go back into it but he has to pull back he's going within and I'm saying and I'm feeling that there is going to be some time. There's going to be a, a limbo phase, an in-between stage where I don't want to say that it's like you thought you knew what you wanted or that I thought I knew where this was going or I thought I saw where we were headed or I had visions or I knew that this was the right thing or I felt like this is what I was meant to do. There Again, there's no judgment here and, and spirit keeps reconfirming that because you may be looking at yourself harshly, but you have to look at what's happening within the planets, like heighten your focus here. Like look at things from a different a different perspective, a different lens. Like all the planets themselves are, are kind of going back and forth with this little dance, so how could you not? And we're all in the same universe. We're all kind of ebbing with the same, ebbing and, ebbing and flowing with the same energies. How could we not vibe with this too? How could we not represent, you know, be in this, this, this flow with it too? Now that Mercury is going to go uh, direct on the 22nd, uh, 6, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the time that I have written here, you guys. It's something or someone or some circumstancing, some circumstance that was disconnected, disconnected to reconnect, you know? It, it needed to kind of be independent. It needed to plug in. It needed to self-discover. It needed to self-seek, self-soothe. And we all do that in different ways. Um... Now that he is moving direct once again, on starting on the 22nd, the mind starts to shift again, the perspective starts to shift, especially in the sign of Gemini, it starts to consider again, you know? It wants to collaborate, it wants to connect. 
um, but still, I just heard the word faulty. Still, there's some aspects within this foundation that are a little, that's a little cracked and crumbled. As much growth that has already happened, as much growth that has already occurred, because of all that had fallen through and all that had cracked and shattered because of Pluto moving through the sign of uh, Capricorn, because of Saturn moving through the sign of Aquarius, both retrograde. because uh, Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus. You guys, these are, this is our foundation. This is our foundation. This is how our foundation right now impacts our future, what we see for ourselves, what we want. And the star card was one of the first cards that jumped out that says, listen, despite all of that has occurred and all that has happened, please do not lose faith. Please do not think that this has not had a, a, a large, touch of healing here that is happening here healing is not an easy and effortless process in fact you know there's moments where you're on top of the world and there's other moments where you've you've taken five steps back and you've not that you've even taken those five steps back you might have gotten pushed back you might have tripped and fallen and you know fell and stumbled back it's not always an easy glamorous process and spirit is saying no judgment and all of that we we recognize the fact that it is messy um, but yes, my loves, Ooh, five of cups here and the death card reverse. So this, I just heard too, that in the blessing, there's a lot of tumultuous, you have a beautiful blessing. You really do have a beautiful blessing here, but it's, it's, it's a transition and that transition can be really tough because it requires so much flexibility. It requires so much fluidity. It requires so much, so much vulnerability. And this, you know, and sometimes it's the expectation that we have on ourselves that it's our transformation is going to look this way, and I'm going to feel this way, and I know I'm doing it for the the right reason. And I know I'm doing this for myself. I know I'm doing this for my family. I know I'm doing this for my child, my my partner, us, our relationship, my career, my purpose. But the journey, the process, it's painful, it's hard, it's, and I'm having a hard time doing this by myself. Listen, or if not by yourself, I mean, you are by yourself. Whether you're with a whole lot of people and you have the whole support of the family, the community, or, you know, the love of your life by your side, or the bestest friends ever, guess who's in your skin? You. And we have Five of Cups, we have the Death Card Reverse, and we have the Ace of Cups in the Blessing. It, you know, the, it still can be tough. And now I want to come over on this side. Knight of Swords here, Page of Cups reverse, and Queen of Cups reverse. Again, it's, you know, it's a hard time accepting. Sometimes, um, you know, it's our perspective again. It's our perspective. Hard time accepting. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Chariot card reversed and I'm really seeing can I do it can I do it do I have what it takes I want to go in and fight for this I want to go in and try I want to believe I want to envision I want to be emboldened but you know can I do it because you know can I <laughs> is there hope here is this gonna last? Five of Pentacles, reverse. Four of Cups, reverse. Queen of Swords. Self-protection. I won't allow myself to even consider, I won't allow myself to try, or maybe there's some defeating obstacles, and now because of that, I'm going to self-preserve, self-protect, and lock myself away from my feelings. These feelings are not just, you know, feelings of joy and happiness and, and excitement. It's just feelings in general, like just feelings of, I'm, I kind of getting a sense of um, numbing, finding different things to numb yourself because it's, okay, the lover's card here is reversed, the high priestess card here is reversed, and the world card is here upright, and this says that intuitively, you're kind of having another revelation here where it's not that you're not on the right path, it just feels like if you carry on with this closed off manner um, and closed off disconnected manner, you're going to feel that you are off your path. You're going to feel like you're out of alignment. Um, and 
the world card is sitting here telling you and, and confirming for you that there is a way bigger vision that you see for yourself. I'm just seeing this little back and forth dance. Um, Venus trine Neptune this week, my loves, June 21st, 9.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when this will be exact, but we're going to be feeling this all this week. And this shows that you have a heightened sensitivity, a heightened vulnerability, and empathy. Like, you guys are really intuitively picking up on information. You're picking up on, if you're working with a partner here, you could tell that your partner is uncomfortable or that they're adjusting too. And you might be internalizing that and feeling uh, vulnerable, um, maybe wanting to fix it but not having the energy to fix it because there's something here too that you're trying to do together or that you're trying to do independently. Again, but you guys are very separate entities. You're separate en entities and even though you might be doing it together, and this doesn't have to be a partner, you guys. This could be friends, it could be business, it could be whatever. You can sense, the moral of the story is that you can sense that something is off, but you guys are both sensing the same thing. And uh, we're not on the same page, you know, and it's not, it's not that. It's, it's just the fact that like, it's not that you're, there's two separate things on two separate pages. It's the fact that you guys can both sense that there's something here, but you just don't know how to bring it in. You don't know how to bring it in. And honestly, the solution is an easy one, a simple one, but it's going to require something that a lot of people have a hard time stomaching, and that's going to be tr transparency and vulnerability through communication. It's the letting go, letting go of the ego. Four of Pentacles reverse, my loves. Four of Pentacles reverse and the Fool card upright and the Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles is let go of what you are holding on to. Let go of what you are holding on to. Tell people freely, transparent, completely transparent, completely vulnerable, completely bold. Compl it, it, you're going to be like, I can't. You know, because there's this risk of rejection here. There's this risk of what if what if what if like what if this doesn't work out what if this what if they don't feel the same way what if there's all the opportunities are dried out what if there's a sense of abandonment abandonment here or loss but the thing is is that the fool card my loves the fool card says you know i have to do this i have to try i have to advance i have to put myself out there i have to see i have to consider because if not there's going to be regret there's going to be remorse and my spirit and my energy is clearly telling me that we're both feeling the same thing. We're both on the same page. We're just not, we're having, it, it would require a certain level. And the, the thing is too, you guys, we have the chariot here card reversed. We have the lover's card here reversed. The chariot and the lovers are very, very similar to me in a lot of ways because they represent with polar opposites that are working really hard and have a desire to come together. They're not working hard just to work hard. They have a desire to come together just because. Um, so I'm seeing that one per, and then we also have the, yep, the high priestess here. She also works with the in-between. She also works with these polar extremes, right? Um, so I'm seeing that some of you guys are saying, you know, it's just me trying. We have the Magician card here reversed and the King of Pentacles. And that's why we, ugh. and then we have the Hangman card reversed and the Ten of Wands. And I have to tell you guys, I have to tell you guys that the energy that you put out there, like Law of Attraction, it is always felt, it's always being read, it's always being sensed. And, or this is someone or something trying to connect with you and saying, listen, I'm trying to put in the effort, I'm trying to put in the work, and I just don't feel like it's reciprocated. It's not that, my loves. It's just the fact that there needs to be some time here. There needs to be some level of divine timing that occurs, and that's being respected here. Um, it can't be forced. It's, oh my gosh, the time card from the Lenormand. Time just needs to pass. The judgment card is here. The six of pentacles is here. The queen of pentacles is here. There's so much here left put on a, a cabinet right here. Um, it's put on, it's put away, but it's on display, which means that even though it might be put, it's not even on the back burner. It's just, yeah, anchor. It's not going anywhere. Whatever this thing is, 
whatever whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever it is that has been broken down, um, Sun trying Jupiter, you guys, Jupiter retrograde here. We're gonna have a June 23rd, 6, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is, um, and for those of you guys that are wondering, I'm referencing my book, the complete e ebook, um, the complete Astro Intuitive Guide to 2021 for all the zodiac signs. So, someone's, when I look at Sun trying Jupiter retrograde, it connects me to the idea of the ego. Um, not in the sense of this person being overly confident, but it's how we identify, it's what we feel, what we know about ourselves, and our ability to desire, require, and allow ourselves to receive pleasure and fun and joy. Um, and the, our confidence, our self-awareness, our self-assurance that says, you know, this is for me, this is destined for me, I'm here to have this, I want to have this. And it gives you a boost of confidence, it gives you a boost of you know, um, a, a look into your identity that helps you to feel more confident in yourself, then that then allows you to show up to the world in a way that is um, generous, um, uh, ben benevolent, you know, like just very generous, very happy, very giving. Um, and people look at that and they respect that. So give some time for this, and then also Venus opposing Pluto retrograde. This is June 23rd, 7.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be triggering this week of uh, those feelings of abandonment, um, those feelings of rejection, those feelings of, I really, really want this to come to fruition. I really, really need this to come to fruition. I have a very innate desire for this to happen, for this to occur. Um, I can sense that I just, if this doesn't happen, I'm going to be vulnerable. If this doesn't happen, it's going to crush me. And it's not that it's not going to happen, you guys. It's just that it, it, it actually is happening. It just needs some time. It needs some time. It's, it's hearing and it's accepting truth. It's coming into its own truth. It's coming into gra grips with its own reality. Or it's materializing and manifesting. Yeah, we have a man here. Here the man card here. I'm surprised that we don't have the emperor here, but do we need to because we have the magician card here reversed? This is masculine energy, um, either an actual male male counterpart or male figure, or the masculine energy within yourself. Where is it you want to go? You're deciding what you want to do. And back to what it was I was saying that some of you guys are saying, you know, it's just me doing it all. Look, choice and decision. You choosing, you energetically choosing and and just de 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 not decoding, but declaring what you want, what you see for yourself is is helping this situation to materialize. And this is not just relationships, you guys, or romantic relationships. I know it always sounds like it, but for those of you guys that don't know, I look at everything as a relationship. My relationship to my coffee, my relationship to my phone, my relationship with you, the internet. My, my tarot cards, my, rela my relationship with God, my relationship with myself, everything. My relationship with my car, my diet, you know. So take it where it resonates and how it applies. Again, this is something that is not going anywhere. I mean, not in the sense of what you're afraid of. It's very loyal. We have the dog card here, we have the compass. And when I say that it's, go it's not going anywhere, I mean that... It's not that it's still and stagnant, it's actually very active. It's emotionally processing things, emotionally sorting through things, mentally sorting through things, and then allowing spirit to kind of um, continue to pull the compass and pull you in the direction, or it in the direction, or where your purpose is, or where your destiny is, in the direction of where it is that you need to go, especially now that Jupiter is retrograde and taking steps out of Pisces. I love that for all of us. One thing that Spirit is telling me, especially as Venus enters into the sign of Leo, <clears throat> June 27th at 12, 26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, is this idea of choosing abundance, like choosing the gift and choosing, choosing to see like what all can be offered here. And the fact that you would even be able to have that thought and think that thought and have that belief just goes to show you know your faith and some of you guys have had your faith your faith crushed here 
it's your faith in yourself, your faith in relationship, your your faith in the good of humanity, <laughs> your faith in, you know, that your work and your efforts are paying off in your work life or your career or, I mean, it's just a lot. Everyone's different because everyone's chart is so unique, but Venus entering into the sign of Leo, you guys, and Venus opposing Pluto, I mean, she's really, relationships, the things that we value the most, love, beauty, attraction, like how we view ourselves, how we value ourselves, and how we value others, and how we decipher how others value us. It's really off balance. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It's been really off balance. And some of you guys feel, you guys are feeling the direct punishment of that. Not that you're being punished, but you feel the, you feel the F, you feel the result of that. It has you feeling, it has you second guessing yourself. It has you second guessing others. It has you second, literally you guys, we have five of pentacles here. We have four of cups reversed and the queen of swords. You guys are saying, I'm never going to allow this to happen to me again. This will be the last time. And I'm getting called back into the space of Four of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Fool card upright, and the Knight of Wands saying, don't let this get you down. Let go of that thought and that belief that, you know, this is it, and that this is, you know, it, it literally, I know it sounds so cliche, and it can be so hard to, to believe, and so hard to accept, and you really just want to be self-soothed right now. You want to be coddled. You need someone to speak life into you. You need a lighthouse, you guys. Some of you guys are just out there in the water and you I don't even know what storms you've been through or what storms you've, you know, you've traversed, you know, and or the things that you've said, things that you you haven't said. You guys are really looking for a beacon of light in order to help you to carry this load in order to help you get out of this situation. And spirit is saying, "Listen, that you're going to be your own beacon of light, believe it or not, um, by you choosing to sit in this space right now and honor this Five of, five of Cups energy. Um, sit in this space and kind of mourn, mourn it because it has to be released, it has to be let go. But in that, choose to see the healing in this, choose to see the growth in this and choose to see that this is not the end of the journey. Um, a little bit of time just has to pass. And what is time anyways, you guys? You know, what is time? It could, this could be really fast. In fact, I'm gonna probably break each reading, each one of these readings down into each of the zodiac signs. I wasn't planning on doing that, but let's go ahead and do it, right? Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. But um, choose to see the abundance and growth in this. Um, because that is actually the truth. The, the message here, is, especially during this retrograde cycle, is all about, again, the revelation. It's all about the information. It's all about the prophecies, the visions um, that you are having through these moments that really have you feeling down and out, that really have you empty, exposed. Um, but it's it really is there to not lock you up and make you dismissive of blessing. It's, it's actually there to, to teach you a lesson to see how much more you can actually receive not in the way of like what you can oh let's see how much she can handle now or let's see what he he'll take but it's to crack you open it's to crack you open and to to, to, to point you in a different direction to point you um into a higher vibration and that's where we're all headed okay so i want to shuffle real quickly Ooh. 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 Love. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where is our heart taking us? Because our heart is the compass. Our heart knows the way. And when Venus enters into the sign of Leo, June 27th, 12:26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Leo rules the heart. Where is the heart taking us? That's what we're going to find out. Meet me at your zodiac sign. Check your sun, moon, and rising video, and we will see where your heart is guiding you for each of the zodiac, zodiac signs. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.